Countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom! All right. If you look at my O2 meter now, you'll notice that it has an infinite symbol. And uh, we don't need this anymore. Oh, that's beautiful. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are just about ready to hit breathable atmosphere. I'm so excited. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. So, yeah, 97 and a half percent of the way there. Okay, let's see. We had a couple things unlock. Um, we have the teleporter. That's awesome. Um, so, we're going to set one of these up between this base and our lakeside base for sure, and then kind of figure out, you know, where else we might put those up. And uh, let's see, we also had uh, the, oh, look at that, a new tree seed, Aemora, good. Uh, butterfly AML larva, the fabric option, and also the silk generator. So I have three silkworms waiting to, uh, to, to create that. And um, I think that's pretty much all that's unlocked uh, since the last episode. I've been uh, real busy doing stuff. Uh, so we have um, out here, in fact, one of the first things we're going to do is we have a full rocket load of iridium rods that we're going to take off. But I want to actually want to be at the screen when we roll over to O2 and uh, see, see what happens here. Um, let's see. I also have stuff. I, I, I have a... Um, materials, yeah, <laughs> materials, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, made up to make three more tier three tree spreaders. And I also have um, a couple of of the higher level trees to put in the in there. And I had to go out and, and find a special kind of flower that I've never seen before out in the wild uh, to grab those. So I was only able to find two of those, but I also found a, a, a couple of those other kind of whitish brown flowers that are almost as good as a, a, a golden flower. Uh, so we'll keep, uh, you know, making more trees with those things. Um, I've been working on, you know, making extra bacteria cultures or uh, whatever the bacteria thingamadoodles are. Um, also for sending up in the rocket. And um, let's see, what else have we done? Uh, almost have a full chest of the high quality food and probably one or two other things that escape me at the moment <laughs> that we've done. So, okay, we are just about ready to hit breathable atmosphere. What a huge milestone. Probably maybe one of the biggest milestones in this game. Uh, in my opinion, anyways, because it's just going to completely be a game changer for us to not have to worry about oxygen just about there countdown 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 boom all right and we got a tier 3 t spreader uh tree tier 3 yeah tree spreader okay now <laughs> now the next stage is the fish stage if you look at my o2 meter now you'll notice that it has an infinite symbol and uh, we don't need this anymore oh that's beautiful that is beautiful okay one thing I want to find out though is if we do go underwater how long does our O2 last not real long so it's probably not a bad idea for us to to keep keep this anyway um, you know, as long as we don't need slots for anything else. 
Um, and that way, you know, we can still go underwater when we need to, because we do need to go underwater to, like, harvest the algae and stuff, speaking of which. Uh, we might as well do that whilst we're here. But we don't have to carry around a stupid oxygen bottle anymore. We don't have to worry about our little waypoint shacks. And, um, oh, man, I just can't believe how awesome that is. <laughs> I just think that's just amazing. Okay. So, um, you know, another thing that probably is not really benefiting us in any major way is the air filter. I mean, I'm sure it's probably... Oh, we got more, uh... Super alloys? Wait, what the hell is that? I haven't... This is new. Is this quartz crystal? Pulsar crystals? Is that what this is? It is! Oh, that is a beautiful thing! All right! I was hoping that would happen, but I didn't know for sure if it would. And no, I haven't seen your guys' comments. As you guys know, if you've been watching this series all along, I'm totally way ahead of you guys trying to fast track this series before 1.0 comes out. So, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I was kind of concerned about how we were going to renew quartz crystals. I no longer am. That is a beautiful thing. Okay, anyway, um, what are we doing? We are going to drop off some... Oh, nope, I guess we're not dropping off. <laughs> Jeez, we're not going to drop off any algae there. We'll have to put this in the overflow bin. Um, I am just so stoked, you guys. So stoked. Okay. That rule about it always having an oxygen capsule in our inventory, no exceptions. Well, no, mo no longer. <laughs> you know, next time I, I make that claim when we start, our, you know, the next season, I'll say no exceptions until we can breathe atmosphere, right? Um, so, yeah, we just uh, we don't need to carry that around anymore. We, we do have to be a little bit careful in the water, but, you know, otherwise um, we're good. We are absolutely good. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, it only sends one, but hey, you know, I'll take it. I'm not complaining at all. Um, okay, so I think that's all it sent us. We'll wait for the debris to clear, and of course, if we see anything else on the ground, we'll know. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, now I want to try something here. Um, actually, we need to... Let's grab some food. In fact, since we're out here, we might as well grab another batch of honey. And, yeah, I know our food's low. And let's see. Let's grab some beans. And this may fill that chest completely up. Look at that. A full chest of high quality food, baby. Yeah. All right. Um, we're still going to eat a bean anyways. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go back down to the lake. I want to try something. So let's drink. Okay. So with our air filter on... With our air filter on, we have minus 4.3 seconds. Now, I'm still not exactly sure what exactly how that applies. But what I think one thing I have noticed is that the lower that number is, uh, I'm talking about in the lower left-hand corner where it says minus 4.3 seconds. The lower that number is, the longer our oxygen lasts. Um, because I, right before, you know, we hit atmosphere, breathable atmosphere, I noticed that, um, you know, that number kept getting lower and lower and our oxygen kept lasting longer and longer. So if we take the filter off, now what does it do? It does seem to go down a little bit faster, doesn't it? 
I mean, I'd have to time it to know for sure. But I guess here again, as long as we have room for new stuff, we can keep this other stuff on here. Hmm, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. It's hard to say if that's making any difference at all. I'd have to time it. But nevertheless, you know, we don't have to worry about O2 unless we are underwater and we'll just have to, you know, keep an eye on it. But we no longer have to carry an oxygen bottle with us. That's amazing. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. So we are working now towards the fish stage, which is interesting. I also have a couple of new higher level butterfly uh, larva that I'm been sitting on. I wanted to do this on camera. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do another butterfly dome and we're also going to make the silk thingy because I have, uh, whoops, uh, three silkworms uh, waiting for us to do that. So let's grab that stuff. We'll take these quartz, uh, pulsar quartz thingies and put them in here. And um, let's do the silk machine thing first. So that is uh, this thing. Uh, so we just need a zeolite and, oh, and an oxygen capsule. How about that? Uh, okay, grab an oxygen capsule and a zeolite. Okay, how big is this thing, first of all? It's not too big. Could we get away with putting it in here? Probably we can. Um, we don't want to... Here, I think I'm going to put it there because we need to be able to still get at this thing. Um, all right, so I guess this will generate silk for us over a period of time which is awesome what does the description say produce a silk okay there you go <laughs> it's as simple as that very cool all right now um i want to make another butterfly dome because um i mean i know i could take these butterflies out but they're kind of cool looking first of all and we might as well keep them as well as just adding another Unless we get into a situation later where we're just completely running out of building space. Um, so we're going to need to ex probably extend this out, our corridor, by another, th I'm guessing, three, uh, three buildings. So let's do that first. It's going to take us longer and longer to run down this hall, man. It's an awesome problem to have, though. So we're going to need some iron. Uh, we're also going to need... I, th I think just three of those is all we need, yeah. So let's grab some iron out of here. So we're going to need six of these. All right. We'll extend the corridor first. Is that going to... I mean... It's prop... No, I don't think that's en enough. Because... Yeah, it... Hmm. These guys are going to be right up next to each other. But I think it'll work. And of course, if it doesn't, no big deal. We can just extend it out even further. Uh, we are going to run out of space eventually, though. <laughs> um, that's why I like this building spot, though. It's just there's so much room to, you know, build a, a, a nicely laid out base, you know. Since we're running by here, let's grab some more of these because we've been using them. All right, so for the butterfly dome, let's pin that. And we're going to need all of that stuff. So let's get two bark. We're going to need two zeolite. Two supers. And a T1 and a T2 furt. Oh. 
Oh, damn it, Jim. Really? <laughs> okay, when this when this produces a full batch, I'm I'm going to I'm going to have to move it over a little bit cuz it's preventing us. I mean, I can jump, but that's that's jank. That's jank, man. We don't like that. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, we're fertilizer. We completely out of fertilizer. Shit. Okay. So that means we're going to need to make four regulars, and two of them will have to convert into tier twos. All right. So let's pin this. So that means we need 12 algae. Let's uh, pull from the over... Mm. It's already bothering me. Let's pull from the overflow crate first. That gives us 11, 12 algae. Okay, so that gives us that. Let's get some water, because I don't think I have any water left in the bin there. And we'll scooch down here, too. Oh, man, it's so nice. We can just breathe. We can go anywhere we want, and we don't have to worry about oxygen. We're, I'm going to take down all of the shacks that I've set up all around the place, because um, we don't need them anymore. Um, the one exception would be the places that I have... Uh, chest set up near ore extractors. Uh, we need the chests. We don't. We don't really need the buildings, but we need the chests. So I'll probably just leave those up. Okay, let's go back up this way. Um. Wait a minute. We don't need water. I. I keep thinking I'm making here. I'm gonna take this back here. I keep thinking I'm making mutagens. That's what we need the water for, or the bacteria samples rather. Okay, put that there. Um, okay, so we need two silicon, or sorry, two sulfur and four eggplant. I do not regret making these um, faster uh, food processors, and I am eventually going to also just change them out on this side because I can. Why the hell not, right? Okay, so we need to make f a total of four. Okay, so we need two more sulfur, and we have the eggplant with us. Oops. Okay, let's put uh, these mushrooms in here. Now we need to turn two of these into tier two furts. So we need four methanes, two algae, two squash. Four methane, two algae, oh, did I just pick those? Wait, what? I'm, uh, no, I didn't. They're 94% and two squash, okay. All right, so. Um, let's get rid of this. I think we have everything to make our next butterfly dome. Let's go out this way. If if these are if, if I don't like how close these are together, I'm gonna extend it out one more. Let's just see what it looks like though. Get over here and then turn you this way. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Yeah, it's too close. Okay, well, that answers that question. We have to extend this out one more. We're going to need it. Oh, shit, what's the matter? Water. We're going to need a damn teleporter just to get around in our, our base. We need one of those and two irons. It's going to be neat seeing fish swimming around in the lake. All right, let's do this. Do this. And do this. Okay, let's try this again.
Why didn't that line up correctly? What the hell? I've never seen it do that before. Okay, go that direction. Um, what's going on here? I'm confused. Am I missing something? No. How much power does this require? 168. We've got plenty of power. I mean, plenty of power to support this. We're going to have to build another fusion reactor. Is there oh I bet you it's this I bet you that's what it was those are uncommons too we'll take them all right let's try this again huzzah that's what it was I was like so confused there for a minute okay and then we will put you and you in there look at that isn't that beautiful that's so amazing. Let's see if we can get one of them to land on us again. Green and, and pink, purple, lavender, whatever that color is. Butterflies. <clears throat> kind of more purplish, I would say. Light purple. Come on. Come on, one of you. You know you want to. Do it for the people. <laughs> okay we're gonna wait 10 more seconds to see if one of them lands on us why I have no idea oh there we go look at you look at you okay very nice very nice indeed we are making such good progress ladies and gentlemen okay so um <clears throat> geez that's a long run now isn't it <laughs> Uh, what if we, what if we made, well, we can't, we can't put a door there without completely screwing up our command center. I was just trying to, you know, think of a secondary access. We could do it if we extended the whole thing out, but then that's going to... Nah, you know what? I'm not going to mess with that. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. We'll just make do. We'll make do. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch this. We have no money at the moment. Uh... And we have 150... Oh, jeez. It's going to take forever to get to 5,000, you guys. All right. Well, let's do it. There it goes. I have to say, though, I do love this. <laughs> this is so cool that we have this in the game, you know? Okay. Does it give us the money immediately? No, we have to wait for it to return. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, that's going to take a while to grind that out for sure. Um, all right, let's go take a look at our terraformation index. I guess we should probably... Uh, we need to put some foundations under this stuff, but I'll do that off camera as usual. I would like to put a door and a stairs, though, down there.
So we're gonna need two of those and a silicon. And do we also need a, yeah, and a titanium. Okay, so let's do that. Actually, hold on, before we run over there. So we're already almost 5% towards the fish states. That's amazing. Uh, and we learned the tier three tree spreader. This thing has got to be a monster. Oxygen is 6,800. I'm not as concerned about fast tracking os oxygen now. I mean, we still need to do it just for the general terraform terraformation index, but um, <clears throat> we're probably a bit behind on pressure and heat. Um, so we probably should give that a little bit of attention. Because I've just been so busy, you know, in the last few episodes with biomass and oxygen in particular. And insects and all that. Um, all right, what were we doing? We were gonna we we're gonna put a door and a, a stair over here. Excellent. Okay. So whatever our next building piece is we'll put over on this side but I wanted to put the two butterfly domes next to each other because I thought that would look good uh, all right so let's put these guys here why did I double up on those I don't know I can't explain it but we will put them to use never fear Let's make another batch of high quality food. Put the extra bean in there. All right. And this is full, right? Yeah, that's full. Okay. Uh, this is not. So we'll put two of those in there. We'll eat one of these. Mmm, delicious. Beans and honey, baby. Beans and honey. We love it. Okay, so all the stuff that I had accumulated to make the next set of tier two plant spreaders, I placed in here because I was going to do that on camera with you guys. Um, but now we can do tier three. Oh, you know what? We do need to make another fusion reactor. So let's do that first. And did all that debris clear out down here? Yes, there's still two, uh, three more. Nice. Three more pulsars. That's good because we need those. Four more. Let's get up high. Uh, that's a uncommon. Uh, we need those to make the next fusion reactor. So I think we need those and we also need supers. Oh, right, we gotta make the teleporter. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna be the next thing. Um, so we need one more pulsar and four supers. lined up nice and neat there and boom there we go i love it let's take care of our power for a bit let's put the larva in here we can't do anything about fish eggs yet is this uh done Okay, it is, so let's pick those, and I'm going to reset this. I'm going to move it a little closer over here so we can get through there. 
Let's try it right there. There we go. And we can still get to this too, so we're good. Okay. Make some more silk for us. Uh, what are we going to do with the silk? Uh, let's keep it with the cloth for now. And, you know, once it completely fills up, we'll have to figure out another plan. Do we have the ability to make fabric yet? Yes, we do. Do we do that in the bio lab or in here? Guess in the bio lab. Yes. Oh. That only requires. Hmm. That's worth eight tokens. You know what might be easier? Because all of this, you know, the bacteria is worth six tokens. But that's a decent amount of work and running back and forth to make those. What if we built just an absolute crap ton of these and use that to, to make our money? Uh, what does this take again? That's not that expensive, to be honest with you. Um, the silkworms require uncommon larva. Uh, we got a decent amount of those, actually. Okay, I'll have to give that some thought. I'm not going to do that right now, of course, but we'll have to we'll have to consider that. We are breaking the rule, though, in not keeping a water in our inventory, which we're supposed to be doing. Uh, okay, what? Oh, teleporters. Yeah, that's actually kind of the main thing I want to do is set up some teleporters. What do we need to do that? Here, let's pin this. Let's unpin the butterfly dome. Okay. So we're going to need four pulsar quartzes. We're going to need two obsidian. We're going to need two zeolite. Two super alloy rods and two of those. All right. Does this have to be inside or outside? Let's look at that first. It can be inside. It's pretty good size, though. Um, all right. We could put it in this location. I don't want to put it in the corridor. I don't want to block the window either. So, yeah, probably right here is good. Um, we still have enough room to maneuver and use this and everything. At least, okay, obviously, right? All right, let's make what may very well be our, okay, we got tokens. Um, hold on. Let's, uh, let's get another run of those rockets going. Here it comes. <laughs> That's cool. I love it. Okay. Let's send another load. Oh, we might as well enable this. Uh, it'll take off automatically as soon as it's full. Does it give it, does it take a second? Here, let's do this. Let's take these back out. Now load it again. Oh, there it goes. So we just had to kind of refresh it, I suppose. Okay, we'll send all these bacteria samples back up. And um, 
you know, on the next load and maybe throw a few more iridium rods in if we need to. Okay, so, anyway, um, let's top off our water. We got a high quality food. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will probably be the very last journey that we will make manually between the waterfall and the lakeside base. That doesn't count, though, um, if we... If we're already kind of over halfway between one or the other. But, I mean, if we have to go all the way from Lakeside to Waterfall or vice versa, we'll use the, the teleporter. Uh, that's also a pretty big game changer, too, if you think about it, really. Um, when we get the Tier 3 ore extractors, which you can use to set um, specific ores, then we'll probably maybe put teleporters up to those as well. well we'll kind of just see how it goes they're not super crazy expensive to make so look at our forest oh man this is crazy well we wanted trees in this area and we got them <laughs> that's awesome that is just awesome okay Now, where are we going to put the teleporter over here? I think we're going to have to... Uh, oh, hold on. Take, take this out. We'll set... Um, we'll set this back up over here. eat that okay I don't know if this will be enough room oh yeah it will it will be okay uh, let's just put it right about there okay select your destination so it just gives the coordinates oh ho, 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 ho. that's what I'm talking about that's awesome, you guys. Um, the only thing we're going to have to do, though, is we are going to have to be aware of the coordinates of a, you know, the base that we're going to. Oh, I love that, though. So when we um, when we put down a third teleporter we'll have to pay attention to the coordinates and just kind of I guess remember that because um, we don't have uh, wait a second so it does seem to indicate that there's two portals here teleporters one's Oh, no, wait a minute. No, that's the... Sorry, that's the, the beacons. Never mind. Okay, yeah, so I wish the map would... You know, if we clicked on the map, it would tell us the coordinates. You know what I mean? Um, But it doesn't, so... Yeah, like I said, we'll have to pay attention to that. Okay, we just got osmium rods, which is good, because I'm actually kind of overfilled with those. Mm, man, the trees around here are amazing. Total forest action going on here, baby. I think, though, for the tier three tree spreaders, we'll probably just put those back um, at the waterfall and create a forest near our base. Um, but I just wanted to have some trees over here, you know? grabbing all this zeolite um okay so 
I think... That... We're gonna set up... Yeah, let's set up a couple of, um... Tier 3s near the waterfall base. It's just amazing. I keep thinking I have to come in here to replenish my oxygen, and I don't. Love it. Okay. Yeah, let's set up a couple of tier 3s. And I think we're gonna put them out there. So we start, you know, building a forest out in front of our house here and in front of the waterfall. And so we have some of the stuff here. Let's, uh, let's unpin this and we will pin this. And all right, so that gives us everything we need for, wait, did I pin a tier three? Yeah. So it looks like it uses the same ingredients as the tier two, but maybe just more of it. So let's put one down. Uh, maybe right about here. Look at that thing. It's huge. Okay, and then we'll put uh, this... Humilora seed in. And we need another normal fertilizer for the second one. So let's go do that. Or do I actually... Did, did we make one? I think we did, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Why is that not registering? <clears throat> or is it? Oh, no, that's a second tier two fertilizer. Gotcha. Okay. Now it's registering. All right. So let's put this one. Maybe right about here. Okay. What is this doing? Um, it's 17 PPT and 1,000 plant growth. See, the trees are already coming in. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. We're gonna we're gonna have a forest around our waterfall. That's significant in this game. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Oh, we just got our outdoor farm. How about that? Um, bee larva. Insert a vegetable seed in it to grow multiple vegetables. Oh, wow. I think we need to make this before I, we wrap up this episode. Where are we at, by the way? Oh, okay. So we're still just 9% uh, 9 to the next stage. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make this. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, I don't need four beehives. Though these are contributing to insect and therefore overall... Um, I think, okay, we got our tokens back. Yeah, I think I want to save the uncommon larvas and just make a whole, like I said, a, a, just a boatload of these for selling. I'm going to set that up off camera though, because that's going to take a little bit of time and work to, to do. Um... Right. But I don't think we need, uh, you know, I mean, we're, whoops, wrong door. We're already over production on high quality food. So I think we can probably afford to take two of these down and get, 
of the bee hunt of the bees back. And you know, if I decide later, oh, here comes another quartz quasar crystal thingy. Uh, where are you gonna land, dude? That is just so cool looking at looking at that thing coming through. In fact, screenshot. Yeah, you can keep sending these to me, baby. Especially since we can't mine this stuff. Um, can we get at these? Nope. Okay, we'll have to wait for the debris to clear. Okay, what were we doing? We were going to recover a couple of bees here. These things just produce honey like way faster than I thought they would okay so that gives us uh, the two bee larvae back um, now let's go to here um, let's actually pin this and unpin this okay so it takes two to make a farm so uh, we'll just make one farm right now on camera and then I'll probably end up making more off camera, but we'll do the first one together because, you know, that's important, right? Yes, it is. Very important. We need to make a T2 furt. Um, one algae, one squash, two methane. Nitrogen cartridge. That's new. All right. Huh. Something's going to require that. Okay. Let's see how big this thing is. And we need to also decide where we're going to put it. Uh, all right. Let's... I still want to kind of save this area out here for more pressure. We're, we're eventually going to get T5 drills, and they're probably going to be absolutely enormous. Um, on the other hand, I don't want the farm to be really far away from the house either. Well, let's see how big it is. Oh, that's, that's not that big at all. Okay. So... Um... We could put it there. We could also line up a few here. I don't really want them to be in the middle of the flowers. We could move these veggie tubes and, and put a nice line of them up here. But again, I don't want it in the grass or the flowers because that's going to look jank. Um... It could, it could look nice down here. It's just a little further away from the base. And the land, you know, and the, and the terrain's not perfectly level there either, which will probably bother me later. All right, I'll tell you what, let's just put the first one here. Uh, farming on Mars. Create your first outside farm. All right, cool. So I just got a an achievement. So uh, let's put a bean seed in there. But you know what I might actually do? See, this contributes to plants and insects. Whereas these 
don't contribute to anything. I mean, in terms of terraforming. Uh. Oh, okay. So this is the output. Wait, no. What? Oh, I'll bet you the beans will just grow and then we pick them. Right? I think. Okay, yes, yeah, so it says it's 7%, 8%. All right, that's cool. Well, what I'm thinking is these could completely replace these. I mean, completely. Right? Oh, shit. That was, that was so close. <laughs> I was completely blindly clicking okay that's what happens when you don't follow the rules bearded og you numbskull uh oh you know what though did i have stuff in my inventory it's gone if i did i did take a drink what the hell we have a blank inventory. I, I think I, I lost it. I think I lost it. And it serves me right for not following my goddamn rules. <sighs> All right. You know, whatever. It's not the end of the world. We'll recover. Son of a bitch, though. <laughs> Pisses me off, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at this. There are, it looks like there's at least six bean plants in there. That's amazing. So what I was thinking is um, that, yeah, that could, this could completely replace these. I don't see why they couldn't. We don't even need them anymore. So what I'm going to do then, based upon that information, is I'm going to build an enormous farm, outside farm. And we just don't even need these guys anymore. We'll probably take them down because, you know, they're they're taking up... Um, energy, right? Taking up energy. Mushrooms in there and the eggplant in there. Uh, I don't I don't know what I lost. Hopefully I didn't have anything super major in my inventory. It, it's not even the fact that we lost it so much as the fact that it happened at all. But I mean I'm not perfect, right? <laughs> Stuff happens. Oh well. Okay, let's get um let's get another load going here. We need three more things to put in there. Let's put the three silk in there. Which I think is what I'm going to actually use, like I said, for making money. We'll get enough of these going and it's just going to be easy peasy. Because, you know, let's face it, the iridium, that that takes a bit of work to do. Because you got to gather it, you got to turn it into rods. You have to travel to get to it if you, you know, uh, if, it, no matter where it is. The bacteria, you got to grab, grab all the water, grab all of the algae, turn it into bacteria. Whereas if we can just have the silk kind of produce itself, that seems to make a lot of sense to me. Un unless, uh, I mean, for where we're currently at, there might be even a better option later on. But uh, that seems to, to be the thing right now. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, though? Shit, I forgot to... Hmm. I was supposed to turn that into fabric first, wasn't I? <laughs> well, does the silk itself have a value? It must have, because the rocket took off. Oh, yeah. Eight tokens. No, no, yeah, eight tokens for the fabric. For the silk, 
I don't know what the silk is worth. It must be worth something because the rocket accepted it and took off. It's probably just worth less. Okay. Anyway, all right, guys. Um, we are we are going to wrap up this episode now. Uh, we, again, we made really good progress. Hit hit the best milestone ever. Look at our forest down here. Uh, best milestone ever. Breathable atmosphere. Just super stoked about that. And um. Let's take a look and see where we're at. We are 13.5% on the way towards the fish stage. It's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, with that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.